Back to follow-up segment tonight, authorities in Kansas still investigating late-term abortionist Dr. George Chiller to see if he has violated state law about reporting the rapes of underage girls. Chiller will abort babies at any time up until birth, sometimes citing the depression of the mother as a medical reason. Joining us now from Washington is Kelly. Got pregnant at age 13 in Maryland and had her fetus aborted by Tiller. Okay, so you were 20 weeks pregnant yeah. when you brought the situation to your parents' attention, I understand. State of Maryland, you could not have an abortion that late, but you, your father and mother, I guess, decided to take you to Kansas where Tiller advertises on the net. He, uh, everybody knows who he is. Uh, he'll abort babies at any time. So your parents take you there, you go into the clinic, pick it up from there. Um, well, it was a five-day process, and um, when I first went in, they have counseling that they offer. It's a group counseling with other women that are going through the same thing. And during the five days, they insert expandable whatever into the cervix to slowly dilate you through the five-day process. And about the third or fourth day, the Dr. Tiller came in and injected um, into the amniotic sac um, saline solution, which suffocated and burned my baby to death. And on the last day, they put you in a room with other women. There's like maybe six to ten beds in a big room, and every woman is lying there. Um, and they kind of go down the line, and whoever's ready, they, you know, they decide that you're dilated enough and they put you in a wheelchair and wheel you out to another room and um, in this other room there's basically a toilet and they told me to sit on the toilet lean on the nurse and push push my baby into a toilet and after that they wheel you into another room to um, remove all the you know afterbirth and really, that's the only two times I ever saw the doctor was when he injected the saline solution and when he finished the process by removing the afterbirth. Yeah. And this is all this is all very graphic, and I think that that's very important that people know that that's going on in our sure. country. Absolutely, I and I applaud your courage. Now, did the doctor say anything to you? Mm, no, I mean, you know, it's. What I remember today is that no one ever said anything to me about what was going to happen during that five-day process or what was going to happen when I left that clinic or ten years down the road what was going to happen. All right, but, Nobody... Tiller, but Tiller himself, when he injected the uh, fetus with the killing agent and then when he took the afterbirth, he never said anything to you at all. This will all be over soon. This will all be over soon. What happened to the body? The I, body? Have, I have no idea. I left my baby dead in the toilet. All right, then when you got out from there, after the process was over, you went where? Um, after, the, after he had finished the Abortion. process that right. day, right. Uh, to a hotel room and then back home. So you just left the clinic right after uh, you discharged the baby, the dead baby, and then you, they put your coat on and you went out to a hotel? Yes. How do you feel about that, the whole thing? Um, I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted that women are told that they have a choice, yet no one tells us what that choice is or what that choice is going to do to us or to the baby for that matter. I'm, I mean, very few people I think know that this is what happens. It's not just an easy solution. It just, it's not an answer to any problem. It just creates other problems. What happened to you after the abortion? Um, Many things. I mean, I was traumatized, so I had lots of symptoms of post-traumatic post stress disorder. I, w I had very low self-esteem. I was promiscuous. I used drugs. I had eating disorders. Lots of horrible things. And when I think that, you know, what would the worst case scenario be that I have my child, that would have been better than having gone through all of the effects of... Right. The depression, suicidal thoughts, all of that that happened afterwards. Now, Kelly, you don't beat yourself up. You were 13 years old, 14 when the abortion happened. And, you know, you, you know better now. You're courageous. You came on. You told the nation what's happening in Kansas. Very few people will do that. And, um, you know, we really appreciate your courage very much. Thank you.